One of the ones that ran with it and made it so popular was Mr. Marley. Haile Selassie is the king of kings and the lord of lords. King Haile Selassie was no more king of kings, lords of lords, than I'm Princess Diana's brother. <laughs> That's right. They're just Rasta from creation, you know? Well, I'm a Rastafarian. Who cares? Who cares? You better be holy. <laughs> That's right. Gino Jennings fearlessly challenged the widespread belief endorsed by Bob Marley, contending that Haile Selassie was the king of kings and lord of lords. Jennings, fueled by unwavering conviction, initiated a spirited debate that resonated deeply within the hearts and minds of many. In his impassioned discourse, Jennings delved into both scriptures and the historical context surrounding Haile Selassie, meticulously dissecting the origins of this belief while presenting a compelling biblical perspective. His words were charged with an electrifying energy, compelling his audience to reevaluate long-standing beliefs and embark on a renewed quest for truth. With fervor, Jennings emphasized the biblical truth that Jesus Christ, the Almighty God, stands as the solitary and genuine King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He eloquently elucidated scriptures that unambiguously established Jesus' divine sovereignty, drawing a sharp contrast to Bob Marley's belief in Haile Selassie. In doing so, Jennings illuminated the unmatched supremacy of Jesus Christ, fostering a profound sense of awe and reverence for the unparalleled majesty of the Savior. His powerful words left an indelible impression on all who listened, kindling a fervent devotion to the exalted King of Kings and Lord of Lords. While some attribute Bob Marley's belief in Haile Selassie as the embodiment of divinity to Rastafarianism, a religious and cultural movement originating in Jamaica, Jennings steadfastly asserted that biblical scripture unequivocally designates Jesus Christ as the ultimate King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Citing passages such as 1 Timothy, chapter 6, and verse 15, Jennings reinforced the explicit declaration of Jesus' supremacy over all rulers and authorities. The debate between the Rastafarian perspective and Jennings' biblical interpretation underscores the profound intertwining of religious beliefs with socio-political struggles and cultural identity within the Rastafarian community. Well, I follow King Haile Selassie. Haile Selassie is dead. Amen. He's the king of kings and laws of laws. He, that's a lie out of hell. Well, that's a lie. King of kings and laws of laws don't need no help. No. Do you know your history? Wonderful, brother. Let's, let me give you a brief historical lesson about King Heli Selassie. Mm -hmm. The descendants mm -hmm. of King David, yeah. who come from the tribe of Judah. Yeah. He's dead now. Yeah. But they say he was king of kings, lord of laws, which is a lie out of hell. Yeah, that's right. Can you prove it, Pastor Jesus? Oh, I'm about yes. to do it right now. First Timothy chapter 6 and verse 15. First Timothy 6:16 6, says, which in verse 15. Verse 15. Which in his time. You better go to verse 14. At verse 14. All right. That thou keep this commandment without spot. That you keep this order without spot. Unrebukable. Unrebukable. Until the appearing until, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Until the appearing of who? Of our Lord Jesus Christ. What else did he tell us about Jesus? Which in his time. Which in his time. He shall show. The Lord will show us. Who is the blessed. Who is the blessed. And only potentate. And only potentate. Tell us who the Bible said he is. The king of kings. What? The king of kings. And Lord of Lords. King of Kings. And Lord of Lords. Lord. Hallelujah. Of Lord. Who only has who immortality. Only, only. Who only. Who only. Who only have. Immortality. Wait a minute. He only have what? Who only has immortality. King Henry Celeste is not immortal. That's right. He was a mortal man that's dead and went to dust. That's right. Hallelujah. Who only have immortality. Dwelling in the light. Dwelling in the light. Which no man can approach no man unto. No can approach unto. Unto whom no man uh, has no, seen. Not, no man have seen. Nor can see. That's God. To whom be honor. Honor. And power. And power. Everlasting. Hallelujah. King Heli Selassie ain't everlasting. That's right. Christ promised that he will return within 2,000 years. You know, mm. and he said when him come, he will be the king of kings, the lord of lords, the conquering land of Judah through the lineage of King Solomon and King David. Now, my life has great meaning to me. So I really search to find out if God is here. When I search, I look, I look in Ethiopia. I look all about, looking at Germany, you know, because men are prejudiced. Me look for God. Me look in Ethiopia, I see one man stand up with these names, Emperor Elias Selassie, name King of Kings, Lord of Lords, conquering land of Judah through the lineage of King Solomon and King David, written in the Bible. If you are king of kings and lords of lords, My Lord. let me give you a brief history lesson. Hallelujah. And I'm not making it up. You can go search your history books or yeah. Google it. Yeah. 
During World War II, Hallelujah. Mussolini, head of Italy, mm -hmm. invaded Ethiopia. Mussolini aligned himself with Hitler, dictator of Germany. Mm -hmm. When Mussolini, the dictator of Italy at the time, invaded Ethiopia, King Haile Selassie mm. came before the UN, mm. the United Nations, pleading for other nations to help Ethiopia mm. fight Mussolini, Fight the Germans. Mm. Now, if you are king of kings, king of kings, and lord of lords, of, that's right. You don't plead your case to men. No, no. You can call heaven. That's right. And make ten thousand legion of angels. That's right. Destroy your enemy. That's right. That's right. You don't need guns. No. You don't need tanks. Oh, no. You can call fire from heaven because you are fire from heaven. That's right. That's right. That's blaspheme. Yeah. Not even Halassi himself declared himself to be king of kings, lord of lords. Lord of lords. And the island of Jamaica ran with it. Yeah. Mm. And one of the ones that ran with it and made it so popular was Mr. Marley. Mm. Kings of kings, make kings. songs. Lords of lords, King Haile Selassie was no more king of kings, lords of lords, than I'm Princess Diana's brother. <laughs> That's right. That's foolish talk. That's foolish talk. Amen. King of kings, all of lords. Lord of lords. That's God. Oh, yes. And God himself. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. The ongoing debate surrounding the beliefs of Bob Marley and Gino Jennings fuels fervent discussions within their respective followers. Advocates for Bob Marley and his Rastafarian ideals highlight the profound impact of his music and message, inspiring generations towards spiritual enlightenment and social justice. They underscore Marley's portrayal of Haile Selassie as a symbol of unity, hope, and liberation for oppressed peoples worldwide. Conversely, supporters of Geno Jennings and his biblical teachings prioritize scripture, asserting its primacy in matters of faith and theology. They contend that the Bible serves as the ultimate authority, guiding believers to truth and salvation. Jennings' followers firmly believe in Jesus Christ as the one true King of kings and Lord of lords, championing his message with unwavering conviction. This clash of perspectives mirrors deeper tensions within religious discourse, as individuals grapple with the intricacies of faith, culture, and tradition. While some find solace and meaning in the spiritual teachings of Rastafarianism, others discover assurance and clarity in the foundational truths of the scriptures as articulated by Jennings and his fellow believers. Those who remain neutral in the debate argue that both perspectives offer profound insights into the human quest for spiritual fulfillment and transcendence. Bob Marley's Rastafarian beliefs resonate with themes of liberation, justice, and unity, addressing the collective yearning for a world free from oppression and inequality. His message continues to inspire individuals to embrace their cultural heritage, cultivate inner peace, and strive for social change. On the other hand, Gino Jennings, with unwavering adherence to biblical teachings, provides a solid foundation for those seeking absolute truth and divine guidance. His emphasis on the sovereignty of Jesus Christ challenges believers to deepen their faith, surrendering to the transformative power of God's love and grace. In the midst of this dynamic exchange of ideas, it becomes apparent that the pursuit of spiritual truth is a deeply personal and multifaceted journey. While some resonate with the rhythmic chants and mystical symbolism of Rastafarianism, others find solace in the timeless wisdom and eternal promises of the Christian Church. In Jennings' impassioned delivery, the weight of biblical truth echoes through the halls, piercing the hearts of those swayed by alternative beliefs. With unwavering conviction, he dismantles misconceptions and illuminates the path to spiritual clarity, inviting all to embrace the unparalleled reign of Jesus Christ. Each scripture he cites serves as a beacon of light, dispelling shadows of doubt and confusion, illuminating the undeniable truth that Jesus Christ stands alone as the ultimate authority and the embodiment of divine supremacy. His words ignited a fire within the hearts of believers, igniting a fervent devotion and unwavering allegiance to the true King of Kings and Lord of Lords. As his sermon reached its crescendo, the air crackled with electricity, and hearts were stirred to their very core. 
For in that moment, the revelation of Jesus' unparalleled sovereignty washed over the congregation like a tidal wave, leaving them awestruck and humble before the majestic throne of the Almighty. In the aftermath of Jennings' powerful proclamation, a profound transformation swept through the room, as minds were renewed and spirits were emboldened to walk boldly in the light of truth. The debate surrounding the beliefs of Bob Marley and Gino Jennings encapsulates the rich tapestry of human spirituality, where diverse perspectives intersect, clash, and coalesce in the quest for ultimate truth and meaning. From Gino Jennings' impassioned defense of Jesus Christ as the sole King of Kings and Lord of Lords to Bob Marley's embrace of Haile Selassie as a symbol of hope and liberation, some argue that each perspective offers profound insights into the human experience. As followers of both camps engage in fervent dialogue and debate, it becomes evident that the pursuit of spiritual truth is as multifaceted as the individuals who embark upon it. While some may find resonance in the rhythmic chants and mystical symbolism of Rastafarianism, others find solace in the timeless wisdom and eternal promises of the scriptures. In the midst of this dynamic exchange of ideas, it becomes apparent that the pursuit of spiritual truth is a deeply personal and transformative journey. It challenges us to confront our beliefs, question our assumptions, and cultivate a spirit of openness and humility as we navigate the complexities of faith and belief. For those who stand firm in their support of Gino Jennings and the biblical truth he proclaims, there is an enduring source of strength and inspiration found in the unshakable promises of God's Word. The teachings of the Bible offer a roadmap for navigating life's challenges with courage, grace, and unwavering faith. As followers of Jesus Christ, we are called to embody His love, mercy, and compassion in all that we do. Our allegiance to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords compels us to live lives of purpose and integrity, standing as beacons of light in a world often shrouded in darkness. In the face of adversity, we draw strength from the assurance that we are not alone for the God we serve as faithful and just, steadfast in His love and unfailing in His promises. Through the power of prayer, we find solace in times of trial, wisdom in moments of confusion, and hope in the midst of despair. With hearts ablaze with passion and devotion, we press on, confident in the knowledge that our labor is not in vain. For as we remain steadfast in our commitment to truth and righteousness, we become agents of transformation, bringing healing, reconciliation, and redemption to a world in desperate need of God's love. So let us continue to run the race set before us with perseverance, keeping our eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. And may our lives be a living testimony to the transformative power of God's Word, inspiring others to join us in the journey of discipleship and discovery. If you found value in this video, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on our future posts. Explore our other videos currently displayed on screen. Remember to live a life pleasing to God, filled with prayer and fasting. Thank you for watching. So if you've enjoyed this episode of Truth Seeker Hub, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for upcoming posts. Thank you for watching.